Hi guys, here Miyuki here, and today I'll be doing a uh, unboxing of this new troll deck, the Future Card Fight Vanguard X Dark Deck, Demon Lord uh, Dragon of Tempest. Yeah, so um, I think I'm a bit late on this, uh, but as you guys know, this card just got recently, this deck just got recently released along with another one of the troll decks for Star Dragon. Yeah, it was uh, uh, another dragon deck if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah. Don't quote me if I get the name wrong and all. Cause as you guys know, I'm not very familiar with body fight. But I do play it. Uh, yeah. So, this is the main character's deck. Gao Mikato. From what I, I have seen and heard that this deck is actually quite decent. And now that they actually provide uh, a lot better, uh, like they actually provide five of the body, like five of the body cards, so that you can actually put it as your body, and you still have four copies in your deck. So it's really very really good. So yeah, uh, today we'll be doing an unboxing of it, and we will see what do they have inside. As you guys know, I play uh, Darkness Dragon World, so I kind of I really do like like Dark Dragon so damn cool. I, I actually expected this to be like Dungeon Dragon, but it turns out to be like, you know, Sun Dragon, cause like the main character. Sun, not Sun Dragon, it's like just Dragon War, I guess. Cause like the main character just played. Oh, this is actually really nice. So, first we look at this first. So, this is the Life Counter. For some reason, it's set really high, I don't know why. Usually, it should be set then, right? I have no idea why it's set so high. So that's Gao and his partner, whose name I can't forget already. Bizzard, Resurrected Art Dragon. Bizzard. Ah, okay, I can pronounce it. Don't kill me if I can pronounce it. And yeah, so it looks like you get a playmat. So basically, it's the center, the left, the right, the flag items, the gauge. Yeah, all the usual stuff. So behind, I just show you like uh, the two troll deck they release. They actually release the troll deck uh, along with another box. So yeah, this is the other troll deck, which is um, Star Dragon, right? Shit, how do I check? Yeah, Star Dragon Warrior. Yeah. Which is by this character, not his previous old friend who played the um, so Star Dragon. If I'm not wrong. Then they are like, who use the Dragon Force also. Shit, I don't really know no idea what's their name. Oh no. And like, there was this, is all oh, how to play, I think. Like, they teach you how to play. So basically, they tell you you can put monster aside, put gauge, equip uh, this flag, and then you have your body and your items. Yep. Behind is just a little bit of manga. Mm, nothing too interesting actually. Yeah, but it's cool, it's cool. I really like the fact that uh, they are doing this for the trial deck now. It makes it more interesting. So that's what you have uh, beside the deck. Now I'll be taking a look at the deck itself. So the reason I'm doing this now is because um, as you guys know, I mainly uh, open Vanguard and um should be around like next week or next next week actually more of next next week i guess yeah on the 10th of may we will be reading a uh, fighter collection so this to somewhat you know hide you guys i guess i will yeah oh yeah so we have the two foil cards first uh let's go through perhaps uh, the body the main body so the main body is a uh, size 2 monster with 7k attack and uh, 4,000 defense, critical of 2, you call him and you play 1 gauge, which is quite easy. Then during your turn, this guy cannot get destroyed, which is damn nice. Beginning of your attack phase, your item and crit, you get double attack. Then if you have 4 left life, and you destroy a uh, monster on your opponent's field. Oh, well, that's actually it's quite good. So it's a Thunder Barrel, Dragon, Dragon World. Yeah, so this guy is basically your buddy. 
Here's the foil one, and this is the up card that they use, then back card, the one that they always use to win the game, if I'm not wrong. So you may cast this card if your opponent has 4 or less, uh, 4 life or less, and your card have attack 2 times or more during this turn, a link attack count as 1 attack. Cast, pay for gauge, deal 4 damage to your opponent. So it's basically a stand kill. Yeah, the anime really loves to use this. So yeah, as I said, you guys get like I think four copies. So total you get five. So you get uh you can set one of these as your buddy, and then you can play four more copies. So it's pretty good because you don't have to get more. Next we have the other great trees. Um, so this guy is the captain of cavalry, cavalry, dragon, Kargale. Okay, I, I can pronounce it for fun. Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm gonna push their name very badly. Okay, so it's a size 3, 7000 attack, 7000 defense, uh, critical of 2, call, you pay 2 gauge. If you have an item crit, plus 1 more crit, so 3 crit, double attack, so it may stay after attack. So yeah, take twice for 7000, 3 damage if you have an item. It's a decent cut, it's a decent cut. Next. Um, we have three copies. Yeah, three copies of this uh, grade two. Oh shit! Why I play grade two? Oh no, I play too much Venga. Okay. Uh, size two monster. If I can get my camera to focus. Oh no. Camera, obey me. Shit. Why do you stare at the face of despair? Obey me. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna read the effect for now. Okay, so it's basically a size 2, 5,000 uh, attack, 5,000 defense, critical of 2. Uh, so his uh, ability is move. At the beginning of each uh, player's attack phase, this card is on the field, you may move it to an open monster area. So it's good, cause usually for the playstyle of Dragon Ball, is you have to call it, you call it to a side. You have an item equip, you link attack, uh, and then uh, afterwards you can use this card to move it to center, defend yourself. Pretty standard card. Next, we have two copies of this size 2 monster. Um, Frontline Blacksmith Rectangle. What? Okay, <laughs> his name is very weird, but okay. So, 5000 attack, critical 2, 2 defense. To call him, we have to pay 1 gauge. When this card is uh, enter the field, you may equip a Thunder Empire item from the drop zone by paying its equip cost. And then you get a uh, Penetrate too. So basically, if you destroy, it's you to use damage to it. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So, as I say, if you have any like uh, items, like say you pay the gauge already, and then you have the item that uh, you want to equip in your drop zone, you can call him out, and then he can help you equip it. It's very good, very good. Cause items uh, in this deck is really important. So basically, and then the next card we have this Berlina card. Red one, uh, oh, size one, five thousand attack to create one k defense. Very normal. And then we get two of these um, size one, four thousand attack, one thousand defense, two critical. If you have a equip, uh, item equip, then this guy plus another 3k, so it's a 7k attacker that's it. It's good because you call it at a size 1, and then this is a size 2, so basically you can hit like 7k magical number. Okay, for the other great uh, size 1, we have this unicorn looking thing, so he has 3000 attack, 1000 defense, 2 critical. When this guy enters the field, for this turn, I cut plus 2k. Um, I guess it's useful when it give like another unit magical number I guess so it's like instead of linking uh, instead of like saving more multiple attack is uh, so you don't cast link attack you can just play this card give another unit plus another 2k yada yada they can do stuff um, yeah not really that good uh, but then again it's a troll deck so yeah there's not much you can do deck, so yeah, there's not much you can do. Next one is a size 0 card. God, it looks like Penguin so damn cute. I don't think it's a chibi version of him, but yeah. So yeah, he's, he has 3000 attack, 1000 defense, 1 crit. 
skill when this card enter, and if you have a Thunder Emperor item equip, put the top card of your deck into the gauge. So this help you uh, build up gauge, which is really important because you need it for your impact card. Because in case you guys don't know, you need 4 gauge, so basically you need to build up your gauge really fast. And next we got 3 of this spell. Um, so what the spell does is actually, um, but you can cast it by paying 1 of your life. Oh shit, my camera is losing focus already. Oh no, camera. Okay, never mind, I'll just read off the effect. Yeah, so basically you cast it, pay 1 life, destroy a, a monster on your opponent's field. So you can destroy their like impact monster, their size tree, or whatever kind of monster. And like, you know it's kind of heavy, sometimes you have to pay a life, but then, like in this deck, right, having lesser life seems to be the way to work. Like, I think, in the, um, like if you have the other, the other version of him, if I'm not wrong, is if he have a lesser life or so, he get a triple attack, if I'm not wrong. The Chow deck one, they only give you this one, the weaker version, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong, I could be totally wrong, don't quote me on that, guys. <laughs> I didn't really watch anime a lot, and I don't really have a lot of, um, uh, knowledge on body fight but yeah I do enjoy it it's quite fun so yeah next we have two of these spell cards so basically what it does is um, you can only cast this card if you have a thunder emperor monster on your field and then if you do you can put a top three card of your deck into a into the gauge and you gain one life so this is a very a very good card if possible I think you guys should play for a bit this is what helps you build up gauge really fast for you to keep spamming this guy if somehow you have the chance to. But I think the moment you play this right, it's just GG well played. Yeah, but I'm not sure what kind of spell card they have, they can like perhaps negate it. Yeah. Next we have four of this. Oh no, the camera is really not focusing for me today. Oh no. Okay, basically it's a counter in yeah. So you can choose a Thunder and Burrow monster in the battle. Uh, for the battle, he plus 3k plus 3 defense and plus counter attack. So basically if he survives, he destroys the monster that is uh, equal or less of his monster uh, of the monster you targeted power. So say if uh, your monster is 7000, he plus 3k, 10,000, your opponent uh, if he doesn't destroy your monster, his defense is like say 4000, he immediately get destroyed. Yeah, actually, I don't think I need to explain this card to you guys. You guys are like experts, right? You guys are just gonna flame me for like, oh no, we are not explaining the card to this uh, correctly, you know, perhaps it's this and that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Next, we have two copies of the Blue Dragon Shield. From what I heard, this card used to be there, rare, and then it got reprinted as a Charlotte card. So, lucky us, I guess. So. This card is basically like a perfect guard for Vanguard and it helps you um, actually different one have. This one the green shield one actually plus HP, this one help you uh, add one more card for your help you charge one more. So yeah, so it's a counter, nearify the attack, and then um, you can put a top card into your gauge. Yeah, that's very nice. And then you get another four copy. So basically you have six perfect guard kind of thing. If I'm not wrong you can play Trout. I am not sure. But I heard when well, my friend was you can play trial for Fagat, so yes yeah, good, the more perfect guard the better I guess. But then again the spell cards in this in, like the whole world in the arc, like fan is like really good. Yeah, tough decision, you need more so you need spells, you need yeah and it's like sometimes you wonder do you have enough like cards? Oh man. So the other one you have four of the green dragon shield. Basically if you don't have a monster your opponent monster attacks. You can notify it and give one health. Very sweet. Next is the item that you'll be equipping. Um, so basically this is an electric, uh, electric spear. If it costs is you pay one gauge only. You have a 5000 attack, two critical, and then um, if you have two or more uh, Thunder Emperor monster on your field, you get penetrate. Which is the the very key thing about this like Dragon Ball, I think. They have a lot of cards that have penetrate, which is the same scary, the one. Next, you get 4 of the like Berlina item equipped, which have 3000 attack, 2 critical, pretty self explanatory. And next, you get 2 more of the impact cards. 
So you get one of the foil one and two of the normal one. Which I must say is pretty sweet. Last but not least, you get the Dragon Wolf flag. So yeah, we scale for this flag. You put one of these as your body and you're set to go. So this is it for the like the trial deck for this trial deck. So do tell me uh, if what you guys think about this trial deck. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, invest more into body fight. For now, I'm just doing it for fun. If you guys want, you guys can leave suggestion uh, on what you guys think. Yeah. Um, but currently, I'm still somewhat newbie for body fight, so I also need more players for body fight. I currently don't really have. Uh, so today is not really playing body fight now, so yeah. That part perhaps I have to see uh, whether if he want to join me on playing body fight. Yeah, if he does, then yeah, nice. We got one more TCG to add to the list somehow. Yeah, GG wallet. Never had one before. Yeah. So that's it for this uh, trial deck. And I guess since we mainly this video was made just for like Vanguard, it'd be weird if I don't do any Vanguard stuff. So I went and get four of this uh, Divine Dragon Keeper packs. I'm hoping to get some uh, rewards. <laughs> hey hey, reward my boy. Yeah, he's messed out right now. So let's try opening it. Oh god. Okay, that's nothing really to tell. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> so, oh, this is the Darkly Little Road. Narukami, Angel Feather, Gear Chronicle, and Gear Chronicle. So, yeah, I'm really hyped for Fighter Collection. Um, I have seen the GB8 for, um, for Dimension Police. And like, Darking is super OP. Oh my god, I'm very hyped for it. Not sure about you guys, uh, but oh man, that's like the bit of a shit. Nabutama had a very good one too. Oh, okay, so this is another spy bro. I think this is for Rising Nova. Yeah. I think this support uh, Rising Nova more than it does for Dark. Yeah, usually that's the case. So yeah, I'm really excited. And the G Guardian is really cool too. Oh no, don't tell me it's all the way back up. Oh no, oh, come on. At least a double R, come on. No, this is what happens if you buy loose pack, guys. Oh man, the camera is still very blur. Shit. This for me, guys, I'm sorry. Couldn't get better cameras. And it's the Marana. Oh no. For another, for another coming. Oh no, it's the last pack, guys. What can we end it with? Oh no, I'm so afraid. I don't want to open it. My god, I feel like we just don't get shit. Man. I just hope and pray, guys, that I can get like some good cards or even Lua or perhaps. Okay, I guess not. Um, <coughs> Mufasa? Huh? Any, anything? Please? Kamisama? Don't, don't abandon me, Kamisama. Please. Okay, and. It's a reprint, it's most likely Raging Form. Oh, okay, it's not Raging Form, that's a uh, Mio Strong. Oh shit, I, ne I have opened a lot of the boxes and I have never gotten this reprint before. I usually got like Raging Form, I got um, What was the other one reprint? Sh ah, yeah, Tarvus reprint, yeah, 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 I got Tarvus reprint, yeah. So it's like I never had this reprint yet. Oh, okay. That's somewhat. Decent, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Fuck me. Oh well. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Um, yeah, don't worry, I'll get the fighter collection and we will open a lot of that, I think. Yeah, stay tuned to that. Bye.